Google Docs. This is perfect for those who want aesthetically pleasing chances but are not very like, tech savvy. First, I usually check my page setup. Then I'm gonna edit it to my liking. So for the margins, I usually go for 0.5 since inches extra. And then for the paper size, it's A4. Pero whatever results you're liking naman, I saw. Next, I'm gonna create my header naman. Here, you can either put your course title or your course code. And then below that, I usually put if lecture or laboratory yon, and then slash, and then whatever semester it is during that time. Tapos, that's the time I'm, where I'm gonna edit it. So I'm gonna pick a color that, that I'll be using for the entire um, chances, and then like the bold ako, and then for the font, I usually use reserve, and then for font size, I go for 15. For my chances, I usually create two columns. So you go to format and then columns and then pick your middle one column. So that's it. And then next, ang gagawin naman natin ay we're gonna design yung mga um, titles and subtitles natin. So first, for title, for subject, ay hindi ka na pa ulit ulit na mag um, format. So first, you're gonna go to format. Choose your paragraph styles and then borders and shading. Here you can edit that if you liking. So what I do is I pick a color same as the one na pinili ko for my header and then same background color and then ayan, you can edit it more. Pero that's how I do it and then bold and then align lang and then at the end this is the vital part. You're gonna go to the normal text and then title and then you have to update it. And that's it. So for example, this is your title, Human Anatomy. So, ayun yung title mo. Para hindi mo na siya gawin i-format ulit from the start, you have to click lang the title, apply it, and tada! It's usually kasi those things are very time-consuming, pero through that trick, honor with the same time, and you can make it Another for the subtitle, choose a border color, pero now, choose a lighter one. Ayan. Follow lang ulit the steps kanina, tapos i-update lang natin siya. And then you have your subtitle na. over again uh, same steps now if you want to create more parang uh, heading pa. Another example is if hindi nyo naman gusto na magkaroon na ng background color here you can do it so same format paragraph styles borders and shading and then ang gagawin nyo lang border color lang and then border width and then that's it and then ayun yung kakalabas ang um uh, and then same lang Take it out and then and then we have the examples. Basically, you can only learn this at all schools of format, paragraph styles, borders and shading, and then you can do it again. Another is you can also create your outline using a table. So go to insert and then table, choose one cell lang, and then here you can create your outline. 